Hello, Natalie B here. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, um, and if you have not been here, please welcome, welcome, welcome to the Natural Wheel of Transformation, as I call it. I've decided this. I've decided to call um, our little niche here the Wheel of the Wheel of Transformation because I I feel like we're all here to transform, and we're all here to transform something. And it's not any one thing that we're wanting to trans. It's not. Usually there's something in particular that's at the top of our list that we, we need to transform or we feel that we need to transform, but it could be a, any number of things, right? Today I want to talk to you about why um, mental well-being is a good place to start when you decide you want to heal. Now, what does that mean, right? Like that you want to heal. Well, for me... Um, it started off. I had some symptoms. I had some swelling. I was going to the doctor, right? And then, um, so, uh, you know, they were giving, they gave me blood pressure medicine. They gave me thyroid medication. Uh, I was having, like I said, I was having some swelling, inflammation. And um, I, I just decided that, you, well, you know, and I was overweight. And I, you know, and so I decided that I want to lose weight. That, that, that if I lost weight, like all the other stuff would go away. And <clears throat> interestingly enough, what I found out is that as I started oh, my God. journey, um, I thought everything was just about, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna lose weight. What did I know, need to do? Let somebody write me up a list of what I need to do. And then I would lose weight. And I found like I was struggling a lot. <laughs> I was struggling. Like I, you I accumulate so many bad habits for so many different reasons and you know for some of us some of us we we gain weight through our bad habits some of us we um we have you know substance abuse substance abuse issues because of our bad habits some of us you know we start to develop we start developing other um health issues because of our bad habits and it's all a lot of it is mental and related to um how we are how we're processing what's going on around so us. what are the indicators of spiritual health so the first indicator therefore human connection with god human connection with himself and if i keep looking back and forth it's because i took notes so um human connection with others and human connection with nature and when i say human connection with god i know not everybody believes in god <clears throat> so it's whatever you believe in human so basically it's with that higher power universe or something greater than yourself that you believe in that you have a connection with right so human connection with yourself this is connection with your self-esteem reasoning thinking calmness responsibility for yourself um, vi your vitality, how empowered you feel, um, your sense of hope, sense of purpose, self-worth. Those are all connections with yourself. Human connection with others. <clears throat> so connections with others in a way that it's like, how can you serve others without expecting anything back? Generosity, um, benevolence, um, helping others unconditionally um lack of jealousy no grudges things like that um and then human connection with nature so th in this one it, it, it's like recognizing your duties like as related to nature so um you know you care for mother earth like climate control climate things to prevent um climate change and Pres preservation of water because you know some people don't have water so you know not wa not being wasteful for with the resources that we have in nature so those are the those are the um indicators for or indicators or the um it yeah the indicators of spirituality now the indicators for mental health so five things that show good mental health are connecting with other people 
so you have good relationships um that and that's really important to mental well-being F being physically active learning new skills, new skills so um, giving to others so that's you know it falls in line with spirituality and then being mindful so being present in the moment so if you're constantly in the past or in the future that's not that's not being present that's not being mindful and um a lot of times when we are in the past or in the future we find ourselves a lot more anxious and a lot more depressed especially if we're usually depressed if we're in the past anxious if we're in the future because we're usually anxious about what's going to happen right like and and how we're going to deal with it so being mindful and being present helps to keep helps to man helps us to manage our mental health so those are the indicators for mental health and as i mentioned before like the indicators for spirituality so it's really interesting right like so when you start looking at these indicators for spiritual health and these indicators for mental health they all they somewhere in there it talks about self-care and caring for others mm, there, right? there's like, a so spot for caring how we care for ourselves that also it's kind of intertwined. So you can see that if you start to care, if you start off by caring for your spiritual and your mental health, that the self-care follows, right? And so making changes when you are doing good self-care is a lot easier. I didn't say it's easy, but it's a lot, it's a lot easier because you are now you're you're more um you're more aligned and you're more how do i want to say it you're more you're, you're more balanced right so when you're off balance it's really really hard to make changes it's hard to make changes when you're when you're spiritually or mentally off balance making a change it's, you know, it might throw you over the edge. It might, you know, it seems, things seem impossible. But once you spiritually and mentally align yourself with self-care, purpose, you know, all the things, you know, your connection with the higher, higher power, uh, you know, connection, your connection with others and you decide what serves you, who serves you, what doesn't, what does, it becomes easier a lot simpler and a lot more manageable to make changes and to heal definitely healing you know and um we can talk i can make another video about you know some self-care practices that are that are amazing but um you know for starters i mentioned just one you know i like to um i like to meditate but you can see where in order to get to the point where you can meditate, you have to start off with being mindful because meditate, meditating kind of says that, okay, I have to sit still and I have to be, I really have to be present in the moment to meditate and not be thinking, you know, like you have to stop your mind from wandering and meditation can help in being present, but you can practice every day in just being mindful and present in the moment and catch yourself right like when you're thinking how many times are you having a conversation with someone and you're thinking about what you're going to cook for dinner um what you're going to wear to work tomorrow what happened at work um who pissed you off you know the road rage you had on the way home you know so just being mindful and being present and enjoying the moment helps to helps to keep you a lot happier so yeah so definitely definitely it's a it's definitely a better a better place uh, it's a good place to start to um to manage yourself in any changes that you want to make and to start to heal you know this <clears throat> wheel of transformation that we're on we're always on it we're always on it. If you're not growing, you're not changing. And or if you're not changing, you're not growing. <clears throat> and the thing is that 
if in order in order to do that we we need to constantly mind our mental health mind our spiritual health and then you know along with that then we can start minding all the other you know minding ourselves because you could see how your mental and spiritual health leads you into making better choices for the changes that you want to see in your life and how because you're, you're calmer you're not stressed you're not anxious you're not you know you're not depressed and it's not that we're not ever depressed we're not ever stressed we all have it we all get stressed we all get upset we all have some times when we're just not being mindful because you know we allowed ourselves to to um to slip and and just be somewhere else but as we this is a practice as this is as we do this so it becomes and i found out that without healing without attending to my mental health my spiritual health first that the rest could not come because when you when you start when you embark on any type of change or any type of journey any anything that you're going to change it doesn't have to be weight but you know you might want to change jobs you might you might want to change careers you might want to change your path in life you might want to change um, you know, you might want to buy a new house. It all starts with the how you mentally prepare for that. And, <clears throat> you know, not to get too deep into it, maybe I can do another video on this, but sometimes, you know, our we bring things from our childhood into our adult life that hinder us from processing things properly. So we need to get our mental and spiritual health in order right. in so order. in order to be able to um get that change that we want okay so and, being um, spiritual is not about being religious being spiritual is about knowing that there's something greater than yourself knowing that you um, finding the love for yourself, finding um, the be, having the ability to put yourself first, and also um, having the ability to figure out what is for you and what isn't. And so, in fact, and I, I believe also finding out. What, what 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 you need to do how to take care of yourself right because many of us like we grow up and we don't we learn how to take care especially women we learn how to take care of everyone else but we don't learn how to take care of ourselves if and you're mentally not having if you're mentally not able to process what you need to do it's hard to get there. And so, I mean, my, I'm not a mental health therapist, but I am suggesting that maybe everyone needs to talk to a therapist at some point or another, because it's a very helpful therapist, thing. But I believe a having a therapist is like having a coach to help you figure out where, where you are, um, where your blockages are where what is blocking you for obtaining from obtaining the goals that you want and um back to me and my the weight loss journey right like i was so gung-ho that i need to lose weight i need to lose weight and then come to find out like i i didn't like yeah you could give me a list of things to do like to do to lose weight and i've done it before i've done the yo-yo diet back and forth and back and forth and but there was no true sense of okay so now when it's done when i'm done with this right let's say i reach my goal and my goal is to lose 10 pounds let's say and you know i reach my goal then what do i do how do i sustain because i still i have i had a list of things to do and i did them but I still don't know how to take care of myself. So it's kind of like retraining yourself, right? And coming from that place of love for yourself. And then also acknowledging where you are 
and in your where you are and what in what where in whatever it is that you need to change acknowledge where you are and if you love it then hey that's great there's nothing to change but if there's a where you're at and you honestly look at yourself you don't like it you don't like what you see you don't like the results that you're getting you don't like you know um you don't like the the notes you're getting from the doctor about your health then if you don't like it then you so change times, it it's not for somebody... myself i find that you know we can see it's so easy right to see what everybody else needs to change but we don't see we don't see ourselves we don't see ourselves and that's um and that's why that's where uh your you know a, a health or life coach can come in and even a um a mental health professional depending on what symptoms you have like i said i'm not a mental health professional but you know i know that it can help to have somebody to you talk know, to having um, a schedule where i know where what i'm doing for the day what what i'm expecting of myself and what kind of self-care because this is all you know having a schedule is all part of self self-care because when you have a schedule of what you're gonna do for the day you know when somebody calls you they cannot just call you and interject into your day without you allowing right because when you don't have a schedule of what your plan is for you for your own self-care for the day people call you hey can you do this now can you do that you know and you know you're kind of like i mean you don't have to say yes but you're kind of open right because yeah you were going to work out but you didn't really put it on a schedule you didn't have a time i could do it later but like when you have it on your schedule and you go between this time bam bam this time and that time this is what I'm doing. It, it's, guys, it's a game cha changer. It's definitely a game changer. You have to do it. When you write it down, you put it, first of all, the calendars will remind you, but like actually writing it down and putting a schedule together for yourself is, reinforces the self care that you want to give to yourself. Now, isn't that beautiful? Now, and this all, plays into your mental well-being, right? Because when <clears throat> you've decided, you've said to yourself, hey, I want to work out. I'm going to work out every day. And then you don't do it. Then you feel bad. You feel guilty. You feel, you know, like your, your mental health really suffers for this, right? Like, because now you have all these feelings of guilt and shame that aren't, they're not, those feelings are not serving. Think, but, you know, all in all, this is all part of mental, your mental well-being. Um, the next thing I found is that, so having a schedule and then the next thing I found was, um, having coaches, you know, that was, that was such a game changer for so me. I found found a group that worked out outside and I may have told you this before in another video. So excuse me if I did, but it's really relevant here. I found a group that, um, worked out outside and the beauty of that is that they are, they What's check one. On? So right? it's, like, you know, you have that accountability. It's kind of, it's like having an accountability today, partner. That's my little, that. you know, take away for you for today. And I hope, you know, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you took away some good information from that. And until next time, I am sending you love, light, knowledge. Please pay it forward. Um, share this video with someone that you think uh, might need to hear it. Um, leave me a comment down below. And also, you know, hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you very much. And until next time, sending you love, light, and knowledge.